Peggy 16. Few teams can rival the Elden Union for experience. Forced to play over many seasons to pay off rich creditors, many elves developed the great fighting spirit, determination, and desire for revenge, which led to the formation of the Union. High elves are the first to unite under the Union standard, but wood elves and dark elves are also far from rare in Elven Union teams. With their matchless rigor and tenacious training, Union teams are determined to prove to the universe that elves are worthy and serious Blood Bowl contenders. As promoters of a clean, fair Blood Bowl, their play may seem dull to some, but no one can rival elves for elegance, expertise, and an incredible passing game. Welcome to the Elven Union's team's presentation video. The Union's teams were born to play ball, and they bring supreme agility and an excellent passing game to the field. Your fundamental strategy will be to avoid fighting and gain the advantage as early in the match as possible. Skirmishes usually end badly for you. Your player's agility comes at the expense of their physical stamina. Each player to be taken off injured during the match can cause you serious problems, and filling the gap by recruiting replacements can cost you a small fortune. Be more alert and reactive than your opponents, get the upper hand as quickly as possible, and play for time so that you can stay ahead until the end of the match. The Elven Union's team includes four types of players. Linemen, these players are the foundation of your team. Agility is their main strength, but they have no skills or particular traits. Throwers, their ability to pass is excellent and they can throw the ball anywhere on the field. Catchers, their agility and skills mean that they can catch the ball in the trickiest situations, even when surrounded by opponents. And Blitzers, as the strongest players on your team, they are your best line of defense for marking or blocking opposing players. From the outset, each member of your team, except for the linemen, boasts several traits and skills that can give you the edge over your opponents. Let's take a moment to analyze them. The throwers have the pass skill that enables them to re-roll a failed passing ability test. The catchers have two skills, the catch skill, which lets them re-roll a failed agility test when catching the ball, and nerves of steel which allows them to ignore marking penalties when attempting to pass or catch a ball, or intercept an opponent's pass. Blitzers also have two skills. The block skill allows them to ignore a both down result after a block. Their second skill, sidestep, lets them move back or onto any square of their choice when pushed back by an opponent. Your best overall strategy is agility, and it will help you enormously when trying to avoid blows and escape tackle zones. Although elves are agile and excellent passers, they have weak points you'll need to work around to reach victory. In general, the weak physical makeup of your players makes them fragile and easy to injure. Having an apothecary on the team for damage limitation is more than desirable. You can only recruit two blitzers, and they are very expensive. However, they're indispensable for slowing up your opponent's game. Your style of play and the features of your game make it hard to recover the ball when it's controlled by your opponents. You have no heavyweight players to bolster your front line either. And the lineman is the cheapest player on the team, but he is still relatively expensive because he has no skills or particular traits. His poor financial viability should make him your final choice when recruiting 11 players for your team. Build up your specialist players first. Touchdown is near! Ouch! Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark. I wouldn't want to be in that player's boots. For more information about Blood Bowl 3 and to make sure you don't miss any of the latest news, follow us on social media. See you on the field.